tidy high campers, hope you're doing well. Welcome to glorious Cornwall. And welcome, more specifically, to the southwest coast path. I'm here on the um, southern coast of Cornwall. It's uh, about four o'clock now, just getting on towards. I'm out for a bimble, and I've got my rucksack on. I'm gonna try and find myself a spot to uh, throw down the bivy bag tonight and have a camp out. I'm just uh, walking in this direction because right, there's a beach I want to look at but my plan for tonight's camp is to head to that headland over there there's some spots there that I've sort of wreckied out so that's the plan I'm going to uh, be fairly relaxed today it's only a couple of miles worth of walking I'm nursing a bit of an injury from um, a run from recent running um, I, did a, I did a personal best at my local uh, park run last weekend and um, unfortunately I've paid a price for it by niggling a, a sort of calf injury um, that I've been dealing with for a long time now so I'm not going to push myself too far because it's healing nicely now the, the calf muscle so I'm going to try and take it easy have a nice relaxing camp I've got some food to cook up a couple of nice beers and I'll, I'll sh show you all of that as the uh, the camp progresses but for now I'm going to walk that way and show you a lovely beach that I think is just around the corner so I'll bring you back Only been out five minutes, sweating me nuts off already. So uh, quite a contrast to the last time I came down Cornwall for a camp. It was uh, on that camp I was up on the moors, and I was uh, in amongst the fog, can, can barely see 20 meters. But today, early June, it's glorious sunshine. About 20, 20 plus 25 degrees maybe. I don't know. Certainly over 20 degrees. And yeah, you don't have to walk far to start getting a sweat on. But the last couple of nights, I've been down here for uh, about three, four nights already. I'm down here on holiday with my wife. So celebrating our wedding anniversary later on this week. Ten years. So happy anniversary, Sarah, if you're watching. Um, but yeah, I'll be up for parole soon. So that's all good. <laughs> Only joking. Sarah's going to murder me for saying that. <laughs> but it's nice to get out in this weather though. It makes a change for me. Yeah. Best get back on the trail and get moving again. <laughs> so, I've reached my destination. This is a... Uh, general area that I want to camp at tonight but I'm really quite early um, what time is it it's a quarter to five so um, I'm gonna find myself somewhere to sit I think I'll get myself a cup of tea um, a bit further than I thought that walk actually is about two and a half miles I think I've covered about so three and a half in total with my uh, diversion down to that beach so yeah there's a nice beach down there as well uh, which is quite quite popular there's quite a few people down there at the moment and this is quite a, quite a, uh, a busy footpath the southwest coast path I've seen quite a few people on the trail so I'm gonna need to wait until near a sunset before I even think about setting up camp but that's okay I kind of anticipated it that's why didn't come out till mid-afternoon but the weather's glorious it's time for a cup of tea I think bring you back in a bit 
So the beach that I was down at earlier on is right over there. It's quite a nice walk. lightweight cook it all right got the water on the go now that should be boiling in a few minutes but whilst that's going I thought I'd just talk to you about um, another one of these pouches I got off of um, David Fry's um, you see you see a moment ago I showed you this one which I keep all of the um, sort of lightweight cook kit in and then this one I keep my brew kit in so with one hand I'll just give you a little look see what I've got inside because um, one of the things I'm trying to do at the moment is reduce waste uh, and specifically reduce any use of, um, sort of single use plastics and um, so some of the food that I've got with me today I've sort of had that prepared with that in mind and in here you'll see I've got some um, pots in there and whatnot that um, I carry in a lot of the sort of tea, coffee, milk powder etc that I use um, so I'll, show, I'll, I'll give you a little look see the one sort of plastic bag I have got in here is just a um, sandwich bag that I use to hold the um, tea infuser uh, I don't chuck that bag away I, I've used that on numerous camps now so that, that's getting well used um, and will last a good deal of time got a couple of spoons in here as well I've got a teaspoon that I made and my, um, if you watch back to the last video I published where I was camping in the woods with my family um, there was some footage in that where I was carving a, a spoon from some pear and here's the finished article so, um, it's come out quite nice actually I'm quite quite happy with it I don't quite understand what all the um, dark marks around the edges are all about um, but yeah got a nice crank to it it's finished nicely so that's what I'm going to be using today and, and later to cook my uh, cook my dinner um, I've got pasta pesto tonight and um, yeah you'll probably be seeing a bit of that in future videos and then in here um, I've got these little pots from Amazon Systema they're called and they're only small sort of 30 mil pots or so and this one here has got um, loose leaf tea it's quite a nice um, blend this one I got from my, my local tea dealer because um, that's how I roll these days I've got a tea dealer but in reality he's a geezer that sells tea down the farmers market so probably makes me out to be rather middle class but loose leaf is the way to go in my opinion because um, you can use your tea infuser again which you can pick them up off Amazon for a couple of quid and um, put your tea in that good quality tea and then all you've got to chuck away at the end of it is just the tea leaves which you can just offload anywhere really because it's just organic matter um, I've got another one of these pots here I've got um, some more tea in that that is uh, Lapsang Souchong tea 
which I'm going to blend in a moment when I have my cup of tea I'm going to blend my regular sort of um, builder's tea if you will uh, with the Lapsang Sushi on just a pinch um, and I thoroughly recommend you try that it's, um, it really lifts your tea very nicely kind of um, tastes a bit like a campfire in a cup of tea is the best way to explain it and here I've got some milk powder this is um, Nido, Nido milk powder made by Nestle it's full fat milk which I quite like it's the best milk powder I've ever sort of tasted you buy a big tub of it from um, Asda typically sells it uh, and some other supermarkets and um, it's, it's really nice I really recommend it and the metal tubs it comes in are also quite good for recycling I've, I've got a couple in my shed which I use to sort of store um, bits and bobs such as tinder materials and whatnot so yeah really handy um, got hot chocolate that I made up myself there which is um, a sort of I think it's clipper hot chocolate from the supermarket with some milk powder mixed into it and then some coffee grounds I'm not much of a coffee drinker if I'm honest with you I'm, I'm all about tea but sometimes I do fancy a cup and I'll just have it black with some of this is like Nescafe I think Azura or something like that nothing major and then here I've got a sachet of coffee one of those coffee bags um, this is just I'm, I'm using these up because I bought these yonks and yonks ago um, but I'm, I'm not replacing them um, once they're gone they're gone I'm not, I'm not really gonna get any more of them they're okay but I'm not mad about them if I'm honest with you all right I think just in the time I've been talking to you there yep I've got myself a boil so I best get me uh, let's get my tea ready I'll bring you back cheers A bit of brew with a view, that's for sure. Hidey high campers. So, an hour or so has passed since I last spoke to you. Just been sitting, drinking tea, enjoying the views. And I've decided to backtrack a little bit towards the spot that I passed on my way uh, to that headland simply because it looked like a nicer spot to camp. There was plenty of options back there. But it's fairly busy with, with dog walkers and the like and coast park walkers um, it, it will doubtless die down as we get nearer to sunset um, but this spot that I went past caught my eye because it looked a bit more secluded a little, more, a little bit more private and I thought I'd maybe head back there and uh, try my luck there I think because um, the spots back there while they were nice also a little bit um, exposed as well you'd be seen quite far away whereas here it's a little bit more discreet and it's got a bench as well <laughs> where I'm going as well so that's always a bonus so um, yeah I'm gonna take I'm taking a slow walk back there now um, and I'll bring you along so I've decided this is where I'm gonna sleep tonight <laughs> this is the coast path and this is a little flat spot I'm just going to um, wait until nightfall and then I'll chuck my bivy bag down here. I might put the tarp up as well. Um, I've only got the British Army bivy today um, just for, to save weight. And um, I'm not sure what the weather's going to do tonight. I think it's, it's a bit grey now. I think it's going to stay like this for the rest of the night. Um, it keeps spitting every now and again. So I think I probably will put the tarp up. I've only got a small sort of 7 by 5 top so that'd be a nice easy configuration but even though the path's right there I know that it's going to die down in terms of footfall I'm sort of half 8 or so and uh, I'll have the place to myself but it's nice, it's lovely it's a little diving group down in the, the sea down there um, I'm only a sh short walk from the car now so I'll probably be uh, up at first light in the morning and uh, away fairly quickly I should imagine so I can get back to the wife and uh, spend a bit more time with her 
we are down here celebrating our anniversary so I do feel a little bit guilty that I've snuck out for a camp even though it was her idea but yeah it's another um, thing I've wanted to do for a long time though camp down here so I'm looking forward to it So for tea tonight, in my food bag I have got uh, some aromatic seasoning, some pasta, some fusely pasta to cook up, and then I've got a few pots here with some pesto. Parmesan cheese and some pine nuts. Now the irony's not lost on me that Parmesan cheese contains both of these ingredients already, but I'm going to put some pesto in and add these just for some extra crunch and, and sustenance. So it's a nice simple meal to cook up. All I've got to do is boil up the pasta, and then once that's cooked strain it off and stir through the cheese and pesto and the nuts it's easy so I'm gonna get that going now So all I've done is cover the water, cover the pasta with water, and then I'll leave that to uh, boil up and do its thing. Cook it through for probably about 10 minutes. It's a little bit windy here, so I'm gonna close that up a little bit. That's all going good. In case you're wondering, I'm using the uh, Descati's alcohol stove. It's working wonderfully well. I've used that quite a bit now. And a thumbs up from me. Cheers, Des. It looks very much like I've got some weather coming in. A bit of wet stuff. So, even though it's really early, it's 10 to 7, uh, I might have to get the tarp up. I don't know. Shelter's up. Just a simple sort of lean to with a pole, prop it up in the middle. Plenty of shelter in there. I'll lay my bivy bag either across or out with my feet end out here, I don't know yet, we'll see. But yeah, the weather's really closed in there. Hopefully it's just a passing shower or something, I don't know, it's not forecast. But got shelter made anyway. Definitely camping here now. <laughs> so that pasta's cooked through beautifully now. Just drained off most of the water there. I think there's a little bit left in there. So now the fun. Don't think I'm gonna use all that pesto. Get a bit of seasoning in there first. Just stir it all through. Smells beautiful. A bit more. Get, them, get the cheese in and the nuts. These are roasted pine nuts. cheese and just mix it all up oh that smells lovely that's it pasta 
pesto with parmesan and roasted pine nuts. That's really nice. So with dinner done and uh, the weather looking somewhat grim, I've tinkered with the tarp a bit more. I've moved it over that way, made it a bit more spacious. Oh, tension up the tarp, tires. The uh, guidelines a bit more in a moment. Got a uh, sort of sit mat there. Got one of the outhouse pads. I'll put my bivy bag out later on tonight when it gets dark, probably. Um, I've actually got a uh, inflatable pad today. I'm treating myself. Um, it's one of those self-inflating mats. I haven't used it for years, um, but after about two years of sleeping on foam pads. I thought I'd treat myself to a bit of luxury in this camp. But it's getting quite drizzly now, but with dinner done, which was tasty, I'm going to uh, oh, sit down here, crack a beer, and I've got a special one tonight. I've got uh, a Belgian ale, triple caramelite. That's a, it's a triple Belgian triple ale. Um, it's called a triple because it uses three grains in the recipe. Um, 8.4%. So I'm going to crack it open now and I'll tell you what I think. I'm looking forward to this one. Well, that didn't quite go to plan. <laughs> it exploded when I opened it and then I, and then I knocked it over. What an knobhead. But I've still got some. I've got, I poured some as well. <sighs> Unbelievable. Obviously, it's been shaking about quite a lot in the bag on the way here. But yeah. Very annoying. <laughs> so. That's tasty. If you're familiar with what left tastes like, it's kind of that, like that, but on steroids. Yeah. I'll let, I'll let that settle and uh, crack on with it, I think, under the shelter. nasty sheltered under this top. It's not a massive top but it does the job. Well the weather's brightened up again folks. Although brightened up for now I think. Some angry looking clouds over there that'll be coming my way. But whilst that was all clearing up I've got the bivy bag in the tent. Just give you a little look see. So, prop me up, prop me rucksack up. There's a pillow there when I get into bed. That's the stuff sack for the uh, sleeping pad, which is a multi mat, three quarter length mat. Um, there it is, there. It's about an inch and a half thick. Then my usual sort of rab two season sleeping bag. David Fry's pouch there with um, extra warm clothing in there. I've got base layers, uh, spare socks, gloves, hat, that kind of thing. Um, and then, yeah, the British Army Gore-Tex bivy bag. Uh, old faithful, that really. Um, if you fancy trying this sort of camping out and you want to get a bivy bag, get a British Army bivy bag, the Gore-Tex. That one's dated to 1991, so yeah, 31 years old, still going strong. I've, I've cleaned it and uh, reproofed it once in the sort of eight or so years that I've owned it, and it's never let me down. It's been awesome. Never had any issues with condensation with it. Breathes really well. It's waterproof. Um, I do prefer the Dutch hoop bivy that I use, though. If I'm honest with you about that. I didn't bring that today because 
I thought it'd be a bit heavy going and unnecessary, but in hindsight, I probably would have preferred that actually, because I could have done away with the top without any problems. Yeah, I've got one more beer to drink, folks. And here it is here. I've been looking forward to this one actually. So yeah, plum porter from a, um, I think it's a Suffolk, Suffolk brewery. I got that in Morrison's the other day. We wanted to try a plum porter for ages. So I'm gonna uh, crack that open shortly, I think. But the Belgian beer was very nice. We enjoyed that. What little I had of it anyway. <laughs> mm. There's a, a naval ship out on the horizon there. I don't think the camera will pick that up. But not far away from um, Plymouth here, which I think there's probably a lot of naval activity still. It's just nice to sit and relax and enjoy this beautiful countryside. It's wonderful. I've been sat here for an hour and a half or so now. Not a soul's come past, so I've got the place myself. Very nice. Yeah, it's lovely beer. Lovely porter, I should say. Nice sweet sort of taste to it, but not overpowering. Not that I know what I'm talking about, but it's nice. Rain's back on again. Time for a quick spot of pudding, and uh, today I brought a classic with me. I bought a uh, Tonics caramel wafer. Anyone from Britain, I'm sure, will know what these are. And if you haven't had one, then you need to get involved and give them a go because they're amazing. And a little little tip, little top Barney's Bimbles tip: when you eat one of these unfold the paper make yourself a little paper aeroplane out of it great fun Gotta take the flying to the danger zone. Oh my god. Oh, that was rubbish. In case you're wondering, um, no, there isn't any phone signal here. Hence the paper plane. Right, I think it's getting to that time. Even though it's daylight, it's like about quarter past, twenty past nine. I think I'm gonna tuck myself into bed. Um, got a little bit of beer left to drink. Um, it's pretty warm tonight, it's pretty mild. But I'm, I'm, I'm envisaging getting up early in the morning, first light probably. Um, so that I can pack down bright and early before any of the, uh, the walkers hit the trails. And then I should probably talk to you again in the morning. Um, I think I'll probably pack down and then get a brew on the go. And um, maybe find somewhere else to, to walk for a brew. I don't know, we'll see. But it's been a really pleasant evening. Um, even despite a bit of drizzle coming in. It's brightened up again now though. But it'll probably be dark inside the next half hour now, I think. 
But I've downloaded a couple of albums on my phone. I think I've got the uh, Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd to listen to. So that's always a good album to uh, to chill out to. Um, so I'll speak to you again in the morning. Bye for now. Good morning. Well, that was a nice night's sleep. Fog lifted when I went to bed last night, but it's, it's, it's dropped back down again this morning and it's a bit drizzly. But the day is young. It's, it's only five o'clock now. Sun should be rising somewhere behind the fog. But, um,. Yeah, nice, nice, comfortable night was had. Slept really well. Had a, had a nice uh, sort of uh, evening of listening to owls calling each other out, out behind me somewhere. They were tawny owls, sort of twit twitting away. That was quite nice. Wasn't expecting to hear them down by the coast here. Yeah, even though there's a lot of drizzle. In the air, I've sort of stayed nice and dry in the bivy bag and under the tarp. So that combo worked pretty well here, I think. Time to get a cup of tea, I think. Ooh. I think what I'm going to do is just get packed up now and go for a wander, have a brew elsewhere, I think. I think this weather should improve as the morning progresses. It's still pretty early. There we go then folks, all packed up. As always, leave no trace. Just got a bit of flattened grass there I'm leaving behind which I can kick over. And I'm good to go. It's really rather wet now though, it's, got, it's pretty miserable. I'm going to go for a little wander down there, a couple of spots down there I want to look at. Um, if I can find somewhere sheltered for a brew, I'll stop for a brew. But if not, I might have a brew back at the car. We'll see how it goes. Interest of full disclosure, I wore uh, my trail running shoes yesterday because the weather was forecast to be glorious. Really regret that now. They're uh, they're soaked through. My, my socks are soggy, um, but never mind. I'm only a quarter of a mile away from the car, if that. So. Uh, Without further ado, I'm going to bid you guys farewell. This started out as really as it was as if it was going to be a, a stunning camp, sunshine, sunset, sunrise, everything, <laughs> and the weather's took a turn for the worse. And uh, it wasn't to be, but hey ho! It seems to be um, a running theme with my Cornish camps at the moment that I don't get very nice weather down here. Um, so they call me the Rain Man or the Cornish Rain Man. Well, you got to work with these things. I'm glad that I did the camp though, I enjoyed it. It was nice doing the camp on the coast path. I'm going to head back to the car now. I'm probably going to um, ditch my bag there and um, have a cup of tea at the car park. It's still a bit early for me to come back to my wife. She'll be sound asleep still. And then I'll speak to you again on the next adventure, which ain't too far away actually. I'm really lucky this month. I'm getting out twice this month. The next camp is going to be, uh, I'm going to be going to a community camp in Kent uh, where, where there's going to be a few other YouTubers knocking about. Um, that's going to be a two night camp as well. I think it's probably going to be an attempt for that one because it's going to be in a field. So I'm looking forward to that. If I can make a video on that one I will. I'm, I'm not always very good at making videos there. Sort of big group camps. I get a bit shy. 
um, but I'll try and, and see what comes of it otherwise I'll just put some photos on Instagram and uh, I'll speak to you again on the next camp sorry for the uh, slightly soggy finish um, but it is what it is at the end of the day you can't um, you've got to be prepared for these kinds of things so um, I'll speak to you again soon bye for now all is good again I've got the kettle on I shall have a cup of tea in minutes and I'm getting a bit of shelter out of under the uh, the boot of the car as well so happy days cheers <laughs>